So, week eight NFL, let's go do it. So, last Thursday, Green Bay beat Arizona. That was a crazy game. Kyle Murray, that backflip to the end zone with a do never turned around interception. That was a crazy game. There's always crazy games in Arizona. A lot of them. Super Bowls, games. Last second in the end zone in Arizona. Ain't nothing like it. That was <laughs> crazy. Aaron Rodgers been saying, relax. 7-1, watch out. Dallas beat Minnesota last night. With a backup quarterback, Kirk Cousins, one of the most overrated, over-talked about, over-hyped jive turkeys ever. Dallas is uh, making a case as one of the best teams in NFC, if not in all NFL. They're steady. It ain't pretty always, but it's getting the job done, and they got a lot of talent. And I'm not big on Mike McCarthy. That meathead is lucky, but that turkey, they winning. They winning. We'll see how it turns out. Elsewhere, New Orleans beat Tampa Bay. Tom Brady's style-wise against New Orleans just doesn't work. They're like they're almost like the Giants to him in the regular season. Sean paid the defense, and then New Orleans has got a legit defense. It's just that they are they're not quite the same in the postseason. But the regular season, they seen that Brady's number. They do just enough to mix it and match it up. Trevor Spillman came in, and Jamison Winston got knocked out. But New Orleans Brady threw a couple picks, a fumble, and it's always like those little ticky tack mistakes. They made them pay 16 points out turn. So we got a feeling you ain't heard the last of New Orleans, and we'll see what happens. Elsewhere, my Buffalo Bills beat Miami, but they was a lackluster game. Um, they got in the second half, but Miami is so pathetic, and you know, you don't even have to try hard and you spank them. Just one of those sad stories. They suck bad. They need to go get Deshaun Watson like tomorrow. And it's already almost midnight. You know what I'm saying? Elsewhere. The Rams over Houston. The score was a lot closer than what it should have been. Houston's another one of those teams. They suck. And Deshaun Watson sitting over there, and they just, they suck. There's no other way about it. Lackluster. They just quit the season. They're, they should they should even have fans in the stands. They, they, they are definitely self-isolating, quarantine their season. Definitely. Same thing, Philadelphia spanked Detroit. I don't know how the Lions, I mean, it's so bad. I mean, 44 to 6. Jalen Hurts good, but come on now. They 40 burger. Oof. It's getting more brutal. Usually when it goes like that, when I look at Philadelphia, I mean, when I look at Detroit, when I look at Miami, um, Houston, that tells me that not only did they quit, they quit on their coach, they quit as a team, they quit on their city. I mean, it is depressing. Those three teams, Houston, Miami, Detroit, that mess is horrible. They shouldn't even allow fans in the stands. They should give fans all their season ticket money back because they are a pandemic by themselves. They suck. Elsewhere, Tennessee was over in the Indy. And Carson, Candyman, free giving all Mr. Santa Claus himself, Wentz just threw a bad turnover. Derrick Henry got hurt, and he's going to be out, and that's a big one. We'll see what Ryan Tanner is really all about. But the coach should have won that game. But Carson Wentz, he just, he just a sponge bob. He just turned the ball over. One of the most overrated jive turkeys. And they are slowly fading. Fading. Could have been better. That's for Carolina over Atlanta. And Carolina needed this game. They've been stumbling. Atlanta, these teams are kind of like the same. Average teams. Got something the other one needs. But neither one of them is beyond, you know, they right where they kind of are. You'll get a little spurt, but both of them are just not that good. Elsewhere, New England beat the L.A. Chargers, and Justin Huber definitely disappointed because second straight year, Belichick then figured him out, gets him to throw bad picks, and he got beat up by Baltimore, and I'm sure Belichick was looking at the tapes. Chargers get cute, don't know. I think they got the wrong head coach, and I just think that there's certain things that they just don't project right which is end up costing them, and it shows because New England just played them, made them play an ugly game, a couple of turnovers, and did enough to beat them, and that's kind of how it goes. So the Chargers are a fool's goal right now, pretenders. New England could be a wild card. I'm not sold on Mac Jones, but they, they – hey, you win, you play close. Sooner or later, you catch somebody sleeping when they don't take you serious. Elsewhere, San Francisco beat Chicago. Jimmy Garofalo balled. The Bears' defense is deplorable. I like Justin Fields okay, but the Bears didn't put no touchdowns when they should have. They should have really waxed that game. And if we were going to let them stick around, 
Jimmy Garofalo was out. He was showing that he can still run. He still can move. So, you know, it's a, it's a couple of mediocre teams, and somebody had to win, basically. Big game, the Jets over Cincinnati. The Jets actually put points up against the Bengals. And again, Jeff Bur- Joe Burrow, like they may have won their Super Bowl against Baltimore and got a little excited and overlooked the Jets on the schedule. Jets came to play. Teams like this are dangerous. When they when you sleeping, they'll catch you napping, and they will hurt your feelings. So don't take nobody light. It is the NFL. Anything can happen. But usually you should beat certain teams. Elsewhere, Seattle beat Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, Urban Myers. I ain't got no problem with Urban Myers getting that dance at the club because he needs to get he need to do anything to take his mind for this team. They are horrible. Jacksonville is horrible. Beat them. Kansas City beat the Giants. It was pretty evenly matched. Kansas City didn't really fell off pretty bad. You know, but the Giants ain't no pushover, but the Giants just can't win. They get their own shadow, so that's not a surprise. Pittsburgh beat Cleveland. Mike Tomlin is one of the best coaches ever. Roethlisberger does enough, but Mike Tomlin is the, is the G for real. The man know how to coach because he does the basics. Nothing cute, nothing pretty, but they win. Baker Mayfield could learn a lot from a Mike Tomlin because his behind should be on the hot seat at quarterback. I mean, they didn't wreck the sheer thing. They should have been one of the four best teams in the AFC, if not all in the NFL, with that offense and the talent they got. But he's too erratic, and it's just another lackluster, typical faker Baker Mayfield. And Odell Beckham is all but good as gone, but I don't know nobody wants him. And Pittsburgh is sticking around. I tell you, when you don't put them away, they stick around. Please hit like, subscribe, and welcome your thoughts and takes. How did your team do this week? Let me know on the bottom. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and that's week eight. I'm out.